Hey everybody, it's Dr. Ron, and I'm in Arizona, and Arizona's gorgeous. Uh, <clears throat> really happy to be amongst great people here um, at the Personalized Lifestyle Medicine Institute, uh, Sixth Annual Thought Leaders Consortium. That's a mouthful. But what's really cool is uh, I get to hang out with the greatest minds uh, in medicine, and that's truly humbling. Uh, not only that, I get to be amongst the mountains in, in Arizona, which I'm about to show you after I pass this little portion right here. Uh, it's, it's a really humbling thought to be amongst these people. And not only that, but to also recognize that personalized medicine and precision medicine is about to be very mainstream. And we talk about using technology to improve healthcare. We talked about using data from DNA. We talked about using the DNA of your, of your microbiome. We talk, about, um, we talk about how all these aspects can change from writing just a bunch of prescriptions to really get to the root cause of disease. And so, uh, good morning everybody. Good morning Robin, good morning Serena. I just wanna show y'all the mountains. Super pretty, super, super pretty. And so, um, I tagged a few uh, few doctors um, <clears throat> in the comments, and uh, really, really proud to be amongst these uh, physicians. You know, one of the the coolest things I think uh, about doing what I do um, is to deliver the message to uh, my followers and deliver the message to people that uh, incorporating a lifestyle change. Um, it should be a very integral part of practicing medicine. Not just a lifestyle change, but understanding how it changes you. We were, we were talking about how uh, our, our, the way that we live our lives actually changes our DNA expression, which means that in the terms of practicing medicine, we not only have to think about what, our, what we are eating and what we are doing, we have to think about how the environment really affects us because a lot of times our environment uh, cannot be controlled and certain diseases will pop up um, and it's up to uh, personalized medicine physicians to really investigate what it's really going on. Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Gwen. How are y'all? From Dallas. Hopefully Dallas is, uh, is looking good today. Arizona is looking beautiful right now. It's a little bit chilly. It's in the morning time. Um, so on, on that note, understanding the intricacies of genetics and genomics and genetic, genetic mutations in, um, in people uh, goes beyond just understanding what their mutations are, but what they actually do. And it's very complicated. A lot of people come in with all this genetic analysis in the, in the clinic and they say, hey, fix my gene. <laughs> it's not about fixing your gene. It's about turning it on and off. And there's certain switches that your body does. And one really good example is stress. Stress is the number one thing that actually flips on certain genes or turns off certain genes uh, for it to work with you or for it to work against you. And so um, when I say stress, I'm talking about mental stress, physical stress, uh, sleep issues, um, emotional issues, spirituality. <clears throat> All these things need to take, take into account because um, they can switch off certain genes. And what we were talking about yesterday, uh, about a model that we're looking at, at cocaine addicted uh, rats as a population of switching on different genetic markers. And the thought was really, uh, really interesting is that what if we can turn off the addiction gene in these rats? And we're getting close to that. We're actually getting really close to that. Um, if we learn how to turn off the addiction gene to the rats, then we know how to turn off the addiction genes. In and so, if we can turn off and on certain genes using our lifestyle, using our habits, it's far more powerful than any medicine we can prescribe. And that's the coolest thing in the world. Uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, Don. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Um, and so now, we are at the sixth annual uh, Thought Leaders Consortium for the Personalized Lifestyle Medicine Institute, uh, which um, 
is started by Dr. Jeffrey Bland, the father of functional medicine. He actually coined the term functional medicine, I think it's back in like 1991 or something like that. And we're really amongst great people. Dr. Dale Bredesen is here. It was really good to see him and talk to him briefly. Um, uh, and uh, he is the author of End of Alzheimer's, which is a really good book that was, uh, came out in July of uh, 2017 about reversing Alzheimer's disease. And if you want to reverse Alzheimer's disease, then you have to flip off certain genes and turn on certain genes uh, that, um, that may worsen cognition. And so, and then you have Dr. David Perlmutter here who um, wrote many New York Times bestsellers. And he talks about how neurology is so linked to the microbiome, the, the gut bacteria. And your gut bacteria is linked to your stress levels, the, the foods that you eat, the environment that you're in, toxicities. Um, and then you have Dr. Jill Carnahan uh, was here. And you know, she's an expert in a lot of different things, but mold toxicity, uh, mast cell degranulation syndrome, and all these certain things. And these have a very, very uh, strong genetic factor, and certain genes can be expressed to either degranulate these mast cells and histamine release and everything like that. And so I don't want to get too much into it to bore you guys, uh, but I just want you to know that I'm collecting a lot of information and uh and delivering it and uh, the most important thing about information is to apply it clinically i think uh i think we all can learn but uh application of what we learn on a mass scale uh, is very important and that's what we're doing here we're trying to use what we learn and apply it on the mass scale which you know i think it's fabulous so morning stacy how are you morning karen and i see jeremy on here as well good morning uh, so yeah, very, very beautiful day. It's going to be uh, another uh, very long lecture day, but these lectures are, are amazing. And every time someone goes up to lecture, uh, we know someone really special because this is the Thought Leaders Consortium. <clears throat> Consortium. And uh, there's nothing else really like this. And so it's a nice uh, small group of small group of docs here and really, really honored to be in the presence of these docks. So once again, beautiful mountains back there. I'm not used to mountains because I'm from Houston, but beautiful mountains back here. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hey, Barbara. And so as I'm walking along here, this really crisp, cool air in Arizona right now, it's, it's about to be warmer uh, soon. Um, missing my family back home. I just FaceTimed my daughters uh, and my wife. Um, and uh, I wish they could be here to experience what I experience. And uh, really <clears throat> wish that all of you are gonna have a great day today. And so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.